kind of stuck because I cannot repair my things. I also don't want... Yeah, I guess today is kind of lost anyway. But he also needs a lot of healing and I need a lot of healing items as well, so... I am stuck. I guess I can make a lot of bandages today. I need herbs, which I don't have. prolong a certain symptom. Yeah, I guess I just should have made a lot of herbal tea. Oh yeah, I should have kept all of my herbs for this. Since now the game arbitrarily gives you a lot of weird diseases like this so you don't know what to do next. I don't know what to do next. Especially because you cannot upgrade this. It's so hard to do. I guess you just have to go into a map and just sit in stealth mode at this point. Yeah, good job, Cody. <laughs> so yeah, basically this day is lost because I just had a lot of bad things, bad interactions, bad everything. Unsafe area. Well, I cannot really go to the national park. We don't have enough time. So, yeah, let's try and get more resources out of it. Even though I'm basically wasting the locations because I normally would have to have the locations with full weapons, empty inventories. Oh, I guess this solves the problem of me needing a lot of wood. Oh well, I guess this works. <laughs> we need all of this to upgrade the workbench. The toolbench to craft better stuff. A bunch of scrap, yes, a bunch of scrap. But it's feeling better, I guess. And I guess you have to go like this. Yes, yes. Oh, I don't know why they give you a message when you find nothing. Just prolongs the whole experience a lot more. I don't know. It seems to me like developers these days are just focusing on making the game last longer to waste your time instead of making the game more interesting. This is clearly a mechanic designed to waste your time. I can understand the animation, but I don't understand why you need to say every time there is something there or there's nothing there that's actually a lot of resources so the best resources you gain from these locations eh, i guess that's true yeah i can't use the pistol until i can repair the pistol so that's why i'm hesitating It's getting late. I know, I can see that. Oh wow, this is a very dangerous area indeed.
but it's a nice picnic area. Okay, let me look at all the skills. So he should be stress, yeah, yeah, comprehension, dagger, and I guess I should get started on this thing. Farming speed, gather speed well, yeah gather is it will be very important for Cody. I guess we'll just have to spend one more hour sneaking around. Not my idea of fun either but and what can we do? I guess I went on the game too aggressive in the beginning and not enough focus on this guy. Gotta go home and rest. Probably should just go home and rest. Anyway, yeah, it was quite a productive day. I mean, I'm getting a lot of resources every day that I can use later, but for now it seems like it's not helping me. Also, upgraded the chest. Okay, it was indeed a nice amount of resources. Yeah, no more space problem. I wanted to put the bait there. Okay, have you finally reached three hours of stealth? Yes. And this one is very very hard to, f to get, I guess. So yeah, the main idea is we'll have to sit in stealth just before it's bedtime. The main idea is to first upgrade Arling's weapon and then upgrade Cody's slingshot. But if you do it like this, that means you also have to repair it, so you cannot really use other weapons. So at 50 something I'll just have to go to bed. <laughs> this is what we're doing with our life now. Oh well, yeah, I I don't know, the game has a lot of potential as it is right now, but it seems like it's, it's not enough, it needs more. Especially because it's so heavy on management instead of gameplay. Ranging abscess. I don't want that. What? My activation. Paused. Oh, okay, it'll be paused, but will not disappear. That just seems like it's very bad. Come on. Yeah. I don't know. I, I basically don't want to play anymore because this feels like it's getting so ridiculous. I mean, I just want to go over the and kill zombies, but the game just gives me the most nonsense things ever. Okay, let me Alt F4 and we'll enter the game again. I want other symptoms. That's just ridiculous. Come on. Basically, you cannot kill zombies because it will rain. You will have a weird symptom. You need to get supplies. You need to take care of Cody or some other stuff. You need to go to the camp. You just have so many things that don't let you play the game the way you want to play the game. So basically... Yeah, only in the first 10 days you have a lot of freedom. After that, there's no more freedom. All the freedom is gone, and as you can see, the symptoms are just getting out of control. Maybe I should have chosen the other option to be weakened, but I thought this would keep our damage, so at least we can fight, man. And 70% damage, okay, and if it drains, basically I'll hit the zombies with a wet noodle. Uh, that's not so bad. 
Arvin. That's not so bad. That's not so bad, I'm rarely full HP anyway. So as you can see, you can just re roll the things. I think they should. the developers should make it so you can re-roll some of the symptoms because some of them will just completely an annihilate what you want to do during that day. And I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Also, the problem is food right now. I guess you can also eat some jerky because we are not really eating the jerky. We definitely need more food and for that I think we need to go out and hunt at this point. I can also upgrade my baseball bat a few more times. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. At this point, we should probably... What do you mean dementia? I, I thought my dementia was over. Okay, we're finally going to the national park apparently. Five gasoline. Whoa, that's a lot of gasoline I have to spend to get there. Does it matter which way I go? Oh yeah, it matters. So why is it more expensive to go over there? Oh, because I spend more time in the dark area, okay. Huh. I guess it makes sense in a way. So yeah, we just have to kill zombies and find that stupid camera which has been avoiding us for a long time because it's either been raining, we didn't have damage, we didn't have something. Oh, can I hold his hand now? No, it will take such a long time. I guess we can also take the wood as long as we're here. It's getting dark. Don't, don't tell me that. I don't like to hear that.
Oh, how I really hate this zombie. Oh, I really, really hate this zombie type. Come on, Cody, he's still panicking. I don't like this. Somehow we managed to avoid the attack or the hit. Yeah, it's just a bunch of nonsense. I think the game has a big problem with the pathology in the other systems. There's no point in trying to avoid it. We just have to go in. <gasps> Yeah, so many cheap shots, especially because I barely have enough area to attack. Come on, just hit one him. Okay, that should be enough. Wow, I don't think we'll make it home in time, but... The carnival. I found the carnival, the crown carnival. Uh, that sounds like it's one of the worst locations I can go. Uh, where do you open that? Oh. Fine. This camera. I should head home before I pass out. Yeah, so I, I just don't have enough time. The game is too. I don't. Know, it's kind of robbing me all of the joy of playing the game because of all of these effects. Oh no, I forgot to use the boat! I forgot to use the boat! <laughs> I don't think we'll make it home in time. Oh well, what can we do? I guess this is the risk. Ah, come on, the, the controls are inverted in such a weird way. I just don't like it, I don't understand why developers really feel the need to do it like this. I mean, what's even the point of inverting your controls? Oh, it's a zombie, oh, you, you cannot control your actions, well, come on.
this this has got to be one of the worst games I'm playing right now. The game starts off so well and then it becomes pure nonsense as you can see over here. Here is your camera. <laughs> this is not the time to sit at a campfire. <laughs> Too much of a weirdo, I'm not a weirdo. Alaska, okay. Well, I'm not curious about your experiences. That's a lot of dialogue, sorry for skipping <laughs> that, but... <laughs> Forest Highway? Okay, so yeah, you have to do the quest to get access to more locations. <laughs> this this is so much nonsense over here. Yeah, hey, I should probably have not skipped all of that dialogue, but yeah. I guess it is what it is. The fish might go bad. Wait, survival and alignment too. Oh, but I guess you just get one extra experience. It's not much you can get. And all of the heater turning on and off, it's so annoying. Oh man, you, you just have so many mechanics that are added to the game that is making the game so much annoying, much more annoying for me to use. Yeah, that's not bad. For each symptom, that's going to be super bad. I'm going to take that one. Getting a bit hungry. How is the fish? The fish is okay. Okay, that, that, that was not bad, not good, not bad. I guess it was neutral. See you next time. Bye bye.